हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अवर टूडेज वीडियो सो टूडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट थ्रेडेड डिकोपाज थ्रेडेड डिकोपाज ऑन एम डी एफ कोस्टर्स लेट स्टार्ट लेट सी वॉट ऑल मटेरियल्स वी रिक्वायर दिस इज अम डी एफ बेस राउंड शेप देन दिस इज अ ट्वाइन दिस इज अ फैब्रिक ट्वाइन यू विल ऑल्सो गेट डिफरेंट थिकनेसेस इन दिस नेक्स्ट इज अ स्मॉल राउंड ब्रश एंड अ फ्लैट ब्रश जेसो which will work as a primer this is a white gesso and mod podge i am using this fabric mod podge if you don't get this you can also use the regular one that is also fine now see this twine is made up of fabric so that's why i would prefer to use fabric mod podge next important thing is decoupage napkin or decoupage tissue you can choose any Now this is a chalk pen. This is optional. If you don't have it, that is also fine. Uh, this is a silicone glue. This is also optional. Instead of mod podge, uh, I'll show you how you can use it. This is glitter, and this is glitter dust. And now to protect our project, to protect our coasters, varnish. This is uh, Asian paint, Ecuador varnish. It's a clear varnish. It's written here. And yes, little bit of water to cut the paper. Before we start, I would like to show you these are the old coasters I have done few months back. So here you can see uh, there are different thicknesses of threads i have used i will show you the twine also see this the thicknesses are different so in market there are different color and different thicknesses available so you can choose as per your choice always spread an old newspaper on your table uh This is MDF base twine and mod podge. You can also use this silicone glue to glue this twine on this coaster. But only for this process. For rest of the project you need mod podge only. Now I'll start applying this uh, mod podge on this coaster uh, from the edge. we don't know the, where is the center so it's always better to start from the edge and then you can come to the center now i will put the twine see like this you can stick it on the mdf base see one round is completed you have covered the edge now we'll stick it on the inner side like this will uh, come till the center I have changed my brush. You can use uh, whichever you are comfortable with, a flat brush or a small round brush. So this is done now. I'll cut the end with the scissor.
after this i will keep it for drying you can keep it for half an hour by the time i will make one more coaster i will put the twine on it it is dried now now the next step is applying this gesso this gesso uh, it is a primer it works as a primer even in my earlier videos i have told you about gesso for any porous surface like wood or mdf you need to apply a gesso a primer uh, before you paint it or before you decoupage it and now here you know this is a fabric twine it is porous so you need to apply a primer on this even from the back side we are going to put this primer of uh, we are not going to apply twine on the back side we'll just paint it with the acrylic paint but before that we'll apply this gesso on it now for next step my two coasters are ready with a single coat of gesso we need a one more coat so i have here a gesso and a chalk paint also so for one coaster i'm going to use gesso and another one i'll use it chalk paint let's see because single coat of gesso is not enough since it is very thin you need one more coat to make it super white either gesso or chalk paint in all my earlier decoupage videos people have asked me about this ch chalk paint uh, why we need a chalk paint and uh, can we use acrylic paint or uh, uh, what if we use only gesso as a base so i have told them and here also i am telling again see this gesso is a primer actually and it is thinner comparatively so single coat of gesso is never enough and another thing is it is smoother comparatively as compared to chalk paint chalk paint is a matte finish acrylic paint so it gives a bit rough finish over your object so it is always good to have a bit rough surface whenever you are going to glue any paper over it it will hold the paper better than any other smoother finish and now here in this project i had told you guys in the beginning that chalk paint is optional for the second coat you can go for gesso and uh, that's what i'm doing the first coaster i have painted with gesso and this is the second one i am applying chalk paint over it now why it is okay to go with gesso for this project because we already have a uh, enough rough surface see this uh, thread this twine it is giving us a rough surface it will hold the glue it will hold the paper over it very nicely so we don't need uh, to apply any other rough paint over it so that's why gesso is okay, also okay if you have a chalk paint if you want to go for chalk paint you can go for it see here you can see the chalk paint it is quite thicker thicker than the gesso what we applied on the another coaster and it is also filling the gaps between these rounds of this twine unlike gesso so it's up to you whether to go for chalk paint or gesso for the second coat we'll keep it for drying now they are dried so i can feel the difference so this one is a bit glazy the gesso one and this with chalk paint uh, it's a bit rough uh, since it has a matte finish i can feel the difference and one more thing guys this chalk paint dries faster faster than gesso and here you can see these gaps between these rounds of this twine uh, chalk paint has filled these and here it is it looks fine here so i feel gesso is better for this project and now the next step here i have chosen these two designs i'll cut them now place the paper over your coaster whatever you want that part you can cut Let's cut it with the water. See, this is the simple and easiest method, and it is very convenient for a round object like this. And these are three ply decoupage napkins uh, available in any art and craft shop. Also, online there are multiple stores you will find with uh, different different designs and patterns. If you haven't watched my first video of basic decoupage on a glass bottle I would suggest you to watch it 
uh, for all the details of this uh, materials why we are using it where to get it and how to use them now make the uh, layers separate take out these two layers we are going to use only the topmost layer of this decoupage napkin don't forget this step guys since uh, we have this threaded surface so it is very important to have the thinnest part of the paper the thinnest paper then only it will give that impression now with the same mod podge we'll glue these papers on these coasters as i told you in the beginning uh, you can also use the regular mod podge all these different types of mod podge are available online on different e-commerce sites also you can check in art and craft shops uh, there are different brands and varieties also but uh, i would prefer to use this brand only take your coaster and dab it very gently with the sponge for this project i would prefer to use sponge only for another smooth surface for another project you can use another method of uh, plastic bag see how it looks now guys if you are liking this please give a like and comment for this video also share it with your friends and family and do not forget to subscribe my channel and for more artwork you can also follow my instagram handle and my facebook page i am giving all the links in description box i also have some sketching and painting video on my youtube channel also planning to upload more and more work after this i will keep it for drying for some time half an hour is more than enough these are dried now now it's time to take out this extra paper with the same method with the brush and water you can also fold it or if you want to cut it you can cut it and uh, you can also use the sand paper to scrub the edges and you, then you can just apply the paint over the edge see in bit if you want to continue this design on the edges or uh, back side just give little cuts in between to avoid wrinkles on this paper in my first video of basic decoupage i have explained this uh, when we are going to decoupage on a curvy or a round surface now for next step we need this mod podge again uh, we'll use it as a finisher and as a sealer we'll apply a coat over it as a finisher over the paper and we'll seal the edges with the same glue see like this this step is important not only to protect the paper but it will also remove the air or if there is any air bubble below the paper it will remove it but make sure you are applying it very gently don't press it or drag it very hard since it is very thin and delicate paper it may get tear apart so you have to be very careful now for drying keep it over any container or any other object do not keep directly on the newspaper below otherwise it will stick on the paper
both our coasters are dried now see now to protect this the last step is required that is to apply the varnish and this is a pedal varnish uh, by asian paints take it in any small container and to add some glitter and shine we'll put some glitter and this is a glitter dust now take any small object like this and put the coaster over it and then apply a varnish otherwise it will stick to the paper now one more frequently asked question here is whether it is washable or not whether we can wash these coasters or not let me tell you what i do all my coasters i just clean them with a wet or damp cloth or if you have a stubborn stains what you can do you can just wash it uh, with a normal water normal tap water don't use any uh, detergent or don't scrub it with any scrubber and after washing it with the normal water immediately dry it with any dry cloth do not keep it wet for a longer time now i will put some glitter over it uh, put it while the varnish is still wet so that it will stick over it and i will also add this glitter dust it will give a nice glaze to my coaster even for varnish you have some other options in market uh, you can also use picture varnish or spray varnish but uh, those are helpful for uh, other indoor items but for coasters since we are going to wash them or uh, we will use a wet cloth over it again and again it's better to use this varnish only you will get it in any nearby hardware shops or you can just check online once it is dried i will give one more coat of varnish only over it for other indoor decor items one coat is enough but for this i'll go for second coat these lovely threaded decoupage coasters are ready you can use them at your home and also you can give them to your friends hope you all enjoyed this video please like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching